Hello, I'm Jack. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Practical Programming with Dr. Su. In this video series, you will learn everything you need to get started with WebGPU graphics programming. So far, in the last few videos, we discussed how to map a single image onto a 3D object. However, there are many surface render effects that can be created by more than one image. In this example, we want to apply a different image texture for each face of a 3D cube instead of the same image to all six faces. There are many ways to apply multiple texture. One way is to change our texture variable to be arrays and uh, adjust the load texture function to handle multiple textures. In this case, we need to define a sampler uniform array and pass it to our fragment seeder where we need to process multiple textures to produce the final color. This approach involves a lot of code chains and careful treatment of the texture coordinates. In this example, we will use a shortcut approach. We first combine multiple images into a single large image and then apply different portion of the image to different faces of the cube by properly assigning the texture coordinates. As shown here, we have six images, each with a size of 128 by 128 pixels. Now we combine these six images into a single big image that has 384 by 256 pixels. I have added this image named multiple.png to the DRST assets folder. Now we can divide our texture coordinate into six parts, like here, and associate each part with the face of the cube. As shown here, you can see the text coordinate is 0, 0, this uh, diagonal is one on one. Front face, we assign the text coordinate zero, one half. Here is one third, one half. This is one third, one, and zero, one for front face. We randomly assign the texture coordinate to each face of the cube, meaning that you can do it whatever you like. Here I put a front face, you can put any face you want here but we just assign a different uh, texture coordinate to different faces. After create the texture coordinates according to here, we can then use the same code for the single image texture mapping as we did in the last uh, uh, few examples to map different images onto different faces of the cube. So we can use the same framework as we did for the single image mapping. Here we will use the Git tool to clone the source code used in the last video. Here is a download link at the GitHub repository. From this link, you can download the source code used in the last video. Now open a command prompt window and run the following command git clone and paste this link. This will generate uh, WebGPU 40, the folder on your local machine. This folder contains the source code used in the last uh, video. Now we want to change the folder's name to GPU 41. Rename and CD into it. At this point, we are going to start Visual Studio Code with the command code period. This is Visual Studio Code interface. Okay, we can close this work on page. 
here contains all the source code used in the last uh, video. Now open a terminal window and run the command npm install to restore all the npm packages used in this example. OK, finished now. All the installed packages are stored in the node modules folder. First, we need to generate the texture coordinates for our 3D cube. From SRC folder, open the rehexdata.ts file. Now try to find the cube data method. Cube data, this method and found the VS data here. After this VS data, we want to add a new text coordinate data here. This texture coordinates are generated by following our previous discussion. You can see we assign different uh, texture coordinates to different faces of the cube. Now we also need to return this new, we call the UV1 data. Here we need to return UV1 data from the cube data function. Now we can save this file and close it. Next, we need to make some changes to the index.html file. From DIST folder, open this file. First, we need to change the title from 40 to 41 because this is the 41st uh, video series. Then we need to change the H1 title here to cube with multiple textures. And the parameter here, we don't need this parameter actually, we can delete them and only keep the sameness so we can delay the other parameter so we can only keep the sameness for our light model now we can save this uh, file next we need to make some modifications to the main.ts file now from src further open main.ts file now we want to replace its content with new code. So you can see here we first introduce the cube data from the vertex data.ts file. Inside this create a shape methods, here we also call the cube data to generate uh, vertex data including the positions, the normal vectors, and uh, text coordinates for our multiple textures. We then use this data as input to call the create shape with texture. You can see here we call the multiple dot png the file as the image file name and we also set address mode for both u and v directions to repeat. Uh, this is standard matter for our example. You can set other options. For example, a mirror repeat or climb to edge. Okay, we finished the modification to this file. So now we can save this file. Up to now, we have finished all the programming. Now we can run the following command on the terminal window to bundle our uh, TypeScript code in production mode. npm run pro. Okay, the bound file is created successfully. Now we can click the go live link from the status bar area to open Chrome Canary to view our queue. So click this link. Here is our cube with multiple texture displayed on this page. You can see our cube, each face has a different 
image texture you can see here. Now we have completed this example. Most examples presented in this video series are based on my recently published book, Practical Web GPU Graphics. From this link, drsu.net.com, you can see the details about this book. I have created a GitHub repository to host the source code used in this video series. From this link, you can download the source code used in this uh, video series. I also create a live demo at this link. This demo shows the live results by running the example projects presented in this uh, video series. I will end this video here. See you next time. Bye.